Hello, my beautiful earthly Virgos. How was your weekend? I hope that you had a great day today. We're going to get right into our reading. Thank you all for joining me. If you're new to the channel, my name is Nikki. Welcome aboard. This is going to be a tough love reading, Virgo. Whatever happens, happens. Tough love. Tough love, Virgo. What's going on here for you And this tough love reading? Please check if you need to leave the rest if it does not resonate, all right? We have here, um, thoughts can be sneaky, lying bastards, all right? Don't believe every shitty thought you have. Don't believe every shitty thought you have. You don't have to believe everything your, your uh, low, lower level self is telling you, all right? Thoughts can be sneaky, lying bastards. You don't have to believe it. Just because you think it doesn't mean it's true. Okay, go easy on your ass, buy your own damn drink. Okay, you are the best thing to ever happen to you. You are the best thing that ever happened to you. Okay, go on. Oh, I'm sorry, go easy on yourself and buy your own damn drink. You don't have to look, look for anybody to do anything for you, you can do it yourself. Okay, if you are waiting for a sign, well, here it fucking is, Virgo. If you're waiting for a sign, here it fucking is. All right. What the hell are you waiting for? Get that shit done. Don't procrastinate. Okay. Don't procrastinate. Stop putting off for tomorrow for what you can do today. All right. Get it done. There goes tough love reading. You got a good thing going. Don't. Hold on, it says you got a good thing going. Don't ruin that shit. Okay, you got a good thing going. Don't ruin it, Virgo. Because you're winning. You're already winning. Don't give up on yourself because of what you're thinking, because of what you're feeling. It's like your thoughts are creating these negative prophecies and you don't want that. Okay, you got to let life alone. Okay, and deal with your insecurities. Find a way to deal with them on your own if you can. All right. And you are being too hard on yourself. Face reality or live in the fuck. <laughs> face reality or live in fucking la la land. Choose bravely. Believe what you see. Okay. Choose wisely. Choose wisely. And spirit wants you to believe what it is that you see. If you look in the mirror and you see a failure, what? You're a motherfucking failure. If you look in the mirror and see that you are a winner, believe that shit because you are. You're, you're not giving yourself the credit that you deserve, okay? Because you're constantly winning. When you wake up in the morning, you're a winner, all right? Stop being so hard on yourselves, Virgo. Don't believe everything you hear. I can't do this. I shouldn't be here. Or I should have left this a long time ago. Or this is not for me. Or I'm not never going to get that lotus spree. <laughs> I'm never going to get that husband. I'm never going to have a baby. Okay, I'm never going to have money in the bank. Okay, stop saying all this. Say more positive things with yourself. And Spirit wants you to believe what you see. When somebody shows you who, who they are the first time, believe them. Okay, and you need a good fucking cry. Sometimes you just got to let it out. Sometimes, Virgo, you just got to cry. Maybe it's hard for you to cry or whatever, but sometimes it just comes willy-nilly and you can't stop it all right get the ugly cry on let that shit go your soul will thank you okay your soul will thank you overall overall virgo your tough love message for you today is what virgo tough love message you are the shit virgo you are the shit you better recognize, okay? You better recognize you are the shit. Yes, you are. And but you don't believe that though. Okay, you, you believe you tend to believe the worst. You need to let it go. And look, you need a fucking hug, Virgo. You need a fucking hug. I'm sending you spiritual hugs wherever you may be. All right. Squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. Spirit is sending you a spiritual hug. Okay, Virgo. This is your tough love reading. What does spirit need to remind you, okay, about? What does spirit need to remind you about today? Stop crying over spilled milk. How many times you gonna scry? 
How many times you gonna cry with this dude? Okay. How many times you gonna cry with that bitch who went on with their lives after they dumped you? Okay. They probably went on with, with their lives way before they dumped you, but they stayed because you you allowed them to. You allowed them to stay. You allowed them to lie on you. Okay. They've they're taking their cups somewhere else. They're <laughs> I'm almost said something, you know, but yeah, they're they're taking their cups of love somewhere else, Virgo. And they're they're leaving you to suffer the consequences. Let it go. Stop crying over that spill that spill if you still got. Uh, opportunity of love, right? There's something like that's going to be a whole lot better than that jack leg ass dude or that stupid ass hood rat or whatever. Stop crying over somebody who wasn't worth a tear in the first place. Let it go. Boo hoo hoo. Let it the fuck go. Mm -hmm. you, you're better than that, okay? And two, you know, as I feel as soon as you let this person go, they're going to come back. You know, because they know you still got the hospital and they know you still care about them. Okay. They're going to keep coming back because you keep allowing them back. Find a way to say no and mean it. Okay. If this person says something to you, you're never going to be this without me. You're never going to do this without, without me. Cancel that motherfucking ass. Say, fuck you and don't come back. Hit the road, Jack, and don't you come back no more. Okay. Hit the road, Jack, and don't you come back no more, no more, no more. You know that song. Why these boots was made for a walking. That's what I'm going to, you know what I'm saying. Nancy Sinatra, you know that song. One of these days, these boots are going to walk all the way. You know that song. Give them a few choice words. Send them some, some songs that they can cancel themselves out to and walk the fuck away. All right? D try to think about something else. Something else that's going to make you happy. Put your mind on something else. Okay? Find a way to something that something's gonna make you happy. Babysit, <laughs> you know. Go go to the park and walk a dog. Or do something other than sitting about there, sitting out there like a gorilla sucking on lemons, huffy and puffy in the face because this bastard won't leave you alone, and you don't know how to leave them alone. Find a way, okay. There are other get an adult coloring book if you want to, okay. <laughs> Something else to preoccupy your mind so you can get away from this heartache and pain. You got to find a way to deal with this, to find, find a way to heal. There are plenty of other ways to make you happy, P plenty of other ways to get you out of a situation from, from thinking so hard about somebody who really doesn't care too much about you because they've hurt you. They're still contacting you. They're still calling and you're still looking at pictures. You're still looking at messages from this person. You're still hoping and wishing and praying. Move on. That person did. They're just calling you and sending you tidbits of information of uh, how you doings and all that stuff because they know that they left the door back in. It's like the door is is, is kind of open. You didn't close it all the way and they have their foot just right there in the door so it won't close. You know what I'm saying? Close that door. Find a way to close that door because you know what? The only reason why they keep coming back to you because you keep letting them back in. Okay? Because they know that, that they can dick you down anytime they get ready, okay? They know that, that they can spread their legs anytime you get ready, however you resonate with it, okay? You've got to stop letting this person in your life. you got to stop letting this person back in. What's that song? Um, I keep letting you back in. Um, then you hurt yourself to make you stay. Lauren Hill, I put that one in the comments too. So yeah, you know, they say they're going to do this. I'm going to kill myself. Well, shit, you want a knife? <laughs> Sorry. Yeah, I mean, yeah, I got to stop letting these people back in your life right now. I'm going to take a pill. Go ahead. Okay. I'm going to shoot myself. You want a bullet? You know? So don't let these people keep on, you know, tugging on your heartstrings, you know, and because they know they can't. And then and, and they're placing this burden on you. They said some things to you, some hurtful things to you, but yet and still they keep wanting to come back. Uh-uh. Nope. Okay, Virgo. Tough love. What else do you need to know about this? Tough love for yourself. Know your value. Okay? Know your worth. Know your value. Know your worth, Virgo. They know how caring and loving you are and how honorable you are. All right? But you know what? Next time they come on your door, say, fuck you. Mm -mm. I'm over it. I'm over this and I'm over you. Stay the fuck away from me. No, thank you. No, thank you. No, thank you. I'm looking at all the things we've been through. I'm looking at the time you called me a bitch. I'm looking at the time I found out you were cheating on me. I'm looking at the time when you put your hands on me. I'm looking at the time when you said you would never come back. But here you are again. Back the fuck up. 
No, thank you. Okay. So remember, let this person go. They're coming back, constantly coming back, Virgo, because you keep letting them back in. Gotta let it go. All right. King of Pentacles here and the Queen. See, we got to find some kind of, of balance because this person knows how to, to pull at those heart strings of yours. They know how to really dig deep at, when you're vulnerable because they know you still care about them. And then I know it, it's like this person knows just what to say, okay, for you to open their door wide enough for them to step back in. Just enough, you know, and they close it again. You dot, dot, dot. Well, hello, dot, dot, dot. How come you didn't answer my text message, dot, 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 until it's time for them to come back around and ready for you to spread their, those legs again. That's when they want to come back around. That's when you hear from them a week or two, and then they're going to slide their ass right back in there, all right? Nope. Mm -mm. Nothing but a player. Knowing how to play with your mind. Move on. You deserve better, all right? You deserve somebody who's going to be there for you, who's going to care for you, he's, who's going to respect you. Somebody who has an offer and they're going to show you what they're offering. They're not going to just insinuate. They're going to ask. They're going to physically show you your value, show you how much they value you, how much they love you. All right. You ain't got to sit around and watch shit. This person's going to come in being the man or the woman that you want them to be. You're not going to have to wait for no phone calls. You're not going to have to wait for anything to develop. You're not going to have to wait to see what lie they're going to tell next. Not going to happen. Uh -uh. Nope. This man is going to. This man or this woman is going to give you everything you need. You don't have to worry about anything. Mm -hmm. So you no 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 more being indecisive about anything. No more saying, "Well, I don't think I want this man in my life," or or you know, "What if he cheats on me like Craig and them did?" Or or you know what I'm saying? No more. You're not going to be that way anymore because you have people coming into your life. More than one person It's your choice. Who are you going to choose? Well, I have this to offer. I have that to offer. You know, well, I have this to offer. You know, so it's like you have so many people coming into your life and ultimately you got to make the decision who you want to be with. It's your choice to be with both of them if you want to until you find the one that's right for you. You have that choice. OK, nobody else. You do. But that penny ante shit that that person that keeps coming back into your life is trying to give you, mm -mm. you tell them nothing floats like nothing floats like bullshit like you do. Okay, keep on. Okay, let's get a final message. Yeah, you need to fucking cry, and you probably have cried over this girl or this guy before. Okay, on more than more than one occasion, they just won't leave you alone, and you are going through some tough shit. You got to find a way to heal. But hey. Like Mariah Carey said, love takes time to heal when you're hurting inside. Mm -hmm. Takes time. Eat your vegetables, Virgos. Some of you all aren't eating enough fruit and vegetables. Put the fucking phone down, Virgo, and cry. You it, Don't reach out to this jackass, okay? No more. Don't reach out to this person anymore. Let it go. Believe what you see. Like I said earlier, when he sh or she showed you who they were the first time, you should have believed them. Okay? You should have believed them. <clears throat> hmm. And ask a fucking expert. Sometimes you just need to talk about it. Don't rely on your friends or the internet. Don't rely on your friends or the internet. Listen to a listen, listen to a damn professional. If you don't know how to get over this person, or if you find yourself constantly thinking about this person, possibly even uh, codependently, uh, just won't, hold on, codependently clinging on to this person and you need to find a way to get out of it, talk to a fucking therapist, okay? I know shame in it, okay? Finally, Virgo, your tough love reading today. You look like a shit show. <laughs> You are a hot mess. Fact. Clean yourself up. Okay. You are a hot mess. Clean yourself up. Okay. You are a shit show. Don't let this person take you down. Pick yourself up and try again. That's all you got to do. Move on. Spirit is telling you, you got this. You're putting too much weight and too much emphasis on this one individual who gives two shits about themselves, let alone you or anybody else. So chill up. Chill out. 
Okay, chill out, find a way to get through this. It's going to take some time. It's not going to happen overnight, but you can't keep letting this person creep back into your life. All right. And coming in to get what they want and putting you on a back burner again, like they going fishing. All right. Talk to you later.